Killer Kill, episode 14, viewer comments and important announcement, Google Plus. I'm going to try to have a Google Plus Hangout, January the 25th, okay, and how this is going to work. First, anyone that has left comments, right, on my Kill a Kill reviews or viewer comment videos, either one, what I want you to do is either on, on this video or another video I may post in between here and Saturday, give me your Google Plus a link to your Google Plus account. You can give me your name, but it just makes it way easier if you just give me a link. Okay. And that way I can go right to it. And from what I've seen so far, I can simply go there and then add you um, to my circles. And then from there, the process goes of you friend me, I friend you. It kind of works its way out. But I'll add you to one of my circles. And then, once we get all that stuff worked out, okay, and, and I would I would prefer to uh, like on this video uh, the this viewer comment video that you go ahead and put the links in here that'd be great but like I said I'll, I'll try at least a, a couple and also the next review video uh, to have it so I can get the links and then get you guys in there okay and this is how it's gonna work once we get it all worked out is I will invite everyone in I think there's a limit of ten there probably somewhere between five or ten people and the way it happens with a scheduled event, once it, it'll be live streamed, okay, other people will be able to watch it, and when it's over, it's posted. I'll go in there and I guess re-edit whatever the name of it is or whatever possibly, but it's it's posted, just like another one of my videos from how from, I understand. I've done it a couple times and deleted just the tests I've done so far. So anyway, this is all experimental. This is new to me, so... Um, you know, th there could be some issues one way or the other. If you want, to, uh, and it, it, it's fairly casual, although it, it's, you know, I don't want a lot of dead space. So anybody wants to have a, you, you want to have a script, if you just want to have some things written down, if you just want to wing it, whatever, uh, it shouldn't be too big a problem. Uh, as a moderator, I'm going to be the moderator, and what I'm going to try to do is simply move it around. I want to try to make sure everybody gets in is able to talk and as everyone knows there's usually some kind of a chemistry when you get different people together anyhow it may go pretty easy to where people are simply you know adding in and, and, and jumping in here and adding stuff and it, it may be a free-for-all that actually works pretty well or it may be that we need to you know be a little bit more structured but we'll see as it goes anyway it's gonna be pretty casual but like I say it's, it's gonna be loaded up onto the net it's not gonna just be people hanging out and it'll be live stream so this should be a lot of fun for everybody. Um, anyway, we can go ahead and work that out later. Okay, all right. It's all experimental. Let's go ahead and get to the comments for this week. Remember, a link to your Google Plus account so I can add you to the circles if you have left comments on my Kill a Kill videos before. There you are. It's that simple, and then I'll try to do my part, and we'll just see how it all works out. All right, that took quite a while. Let's go ahead and get started. Elijah, Elijah Lawson. Just to add, okay, well, I'll go ahead and read your first comment, okay, and then I'll add that one. I agree this was a very fun episode indeed. I disagree with the filler statement just because this was necessary. The battle field trip was mentioned at the end of episode 12, so it would have been weird if it had happened off screen. That would be like the fourth Shinobi War and Naruto taking place off screen. LOL. Sorry for bringing it here. <laughs> anyway, Satsuki always seems to have a plan for Ryuko. I think she's trying to make Ryuko an asset to her because by bending her ideal, Satsuki knows outright defeating her won't do that. Like with the other divas, so she created a scenario where Ryuko would no had no other choice than to fight along her side hence the spreading of Sinketsu. again mentioned at the end of episode 12 episode 7 she was very close because she was willingly enrolled into the club system sorry in short Satsuki has been using Roku arguably for the entire series so far this is just a part of her plan to bring her further into the fold and to refortify her offenses 
This really does make use of everything. Needless to say, I'm really digging Setsuki style. I would classify this as a very fun build-up episode, LOL, literally and figuratively instead of the filler episode. Thanks for reading. And then the thing that you added here was just added to Setsuki. It's pretty interesting and Roku's strengths develop. She wants to help her get stronger as well. She doesn't want her eliminated. All right. Now, I've had some discussions. Um, I was really wrong for using the filler, for saying filler, because it's, it's obviously not. And it's taken me a while to figure out what it is. It was a setup episode, but mainly it was a war. And this, I think this was the other thing. Like I say, the relationship between her and Setsuki is, it, to me, it's still weird. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. It's still, it's, I don't know, it's, it's still out there. But let me get to the new thing. Is the war itself has been uncharacteristically boring. I found the actual city defenses themselves not, and the way they were handled, it wasn't any sense of anything going on. Um, the way things were dealt with, uh, it, it, it just, it, it was, for a war, it was really boring. I, I just have to admit, there was some funny things in it, kind of interesting, but mainly it was boring. So that has really been my issue with this, is that we get a war, and, and, and it's boring. It's been treated like, you know, kind of like what it was. You know, the two main cities falling was just uh, not that big a deal. And now we're down to Osaka. And, uh, you know, it's the main thing. It's where it's all going. So the other two is just kind of a, it was just, I don't know. It was, uh, it was well, it was boring. Anyway, let me go ahead and move on. <laughs> I really do appreciate your comments. All right, KX Mixer X. I really don't like, I didn't like this episode. Roko acquired Senketsu's divided pieces much too easy. I like where it's going with Satsuki having the final piece, but other than that, I wasn't impressed. Most of the Tri-City Raid was just nonsense. It was like watching a bad stand-up comedy act. Mako was the only saving grace. She was hilarious as always. Can't wait for the next episode, though. Satsuki versus Roko without Senketsu aid will definitely be interesting. A lot of good points. A lot of good points. Um, I wouldn't go as strong as say I didn't like the episode. I, I would. I'm. I'm. Don't put words in your mouth. I, I'm suggest. I'm, I'm suggesting that you're probably. I, like I said, maybe you just didn't like it. You said you didn't like it. So, or well, actually, you know what? You said I really didn't like the episode. I'll leave that alone. I'll just say that I want to make sure for myself that. I rated this episode low for Kill a Kill, okay, but not as general anime or entertainment. For inter I would take a low episode Kill a Kill <laughs> over over most other stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. That's how high I, I, I think of Kill a Kill. So I'll just speak for myself and make sure I'm, I'm understood on that. And I really, really do appreciate your comments, and you really got right to uh, a lot of the issues there. Mecco is a, just an amazing character. NW Order for life. I didn't think this episode was bad at all. I found myself entertained throughout the whole thing. Two minor nitpicks would be how Roko still had the red scissor and how she traversed the distance between the schools so fast. At least they explained how she knew where to get to, get to thanks to Senketsu sensing his pieces. Then again, this show doesn't really need that much logic, so I can accept the motorcycle speed, but I just can't but I just think that her scissors should have been taken away or at least show that it was knocked out of her hands, flew somewhere, and newly forgot about it or something. I like how all the schools had different ways of defending themselves and how all the attack squads had different types of attacks. I didn't think the invasion would have worked out without a piece of Siketsu. It was surprising to see how the schools held their ground till Senketsu pieces came into play. Actually, I was expecting this to be dragged out two or three episodes so that it would feel like a war. Maruku would have time to be sad, to get over it, to find a way to fix Senketsu. I would have known Kill a Kill does everything much faster than your average anime. I was not expecting Ryuko to recover so quickly. And, or for Senketsu to still be able to talk. However, I knew that Senket, Se, Setsuki couldn't simply win this raid because Setsuki is a type of anti-hero. She's trying to conquer 
and build up her power so she can challenge her mother and that organization behind her. After this next fight with Roko, she will realize she simply needs her friends to change the world and Roko will become one of them. I'm sticking with that prediction based on my anime experience. Though this show is certainly not like other anime, so we'll see how it goes. Their team up and coming, I can feel it. I wonder if the writers will make the proud Setsuki ask for help or win Roka over with charisma like she was, like she has all the others. I like Roko getting the pieces back so fast. It was badass hero movement and it gives her motivation to go after Setsuki. This fight will be good because Roko has no kamoi, well scarf. She will really win Setsuki over when she takes back that final piece of Senketsu. It's also nice to know that Roko is getting stronger. Her body is now able to use more of Senketsu's power than when she wore it the first time. Mako was hilarious. Why would she want to get <laughs> one shot and catch the money when she could just pick it off the floor? LOL. I'm convinced now that the nudist beach professor is good. The organization probably is as well, but the, but the time will tell on that. I love this show so much. I'll be sad when the season ends or, God forbid, it ends for good. Every episode is a roller coaster with its twists, emotions thrown in from all sides. Definitely one of the favorite animes of all time. From what I understand, these things are one shots. You get it's 25 and they're done, and then at some time later they'll do another 125 episode uh, deal. But uh, yeah, excellent points. There's so much to kill a kill. It's such a densely written show. There's so much there. And let's see. I already read your comment and. And I'm going to read uh, Conley Bob Nine's last. I've got some good stuff there. I'm going to read a couple of really short comments and then I'll get to uh, Conley Bob Nine's. Witch King 142. This wasn't a bad episode, but probably one of my least favorites. This again is a set of episode for the next episode. And episode 15 is the climax of the first arc. Looks like we'll be getting another Roku versus Satsuki fight. Looking forward to it. I have to say. Um, I mean, there's different sides. Uh, these writers are good. I mean, it would be interesting if she actually goes with the money. With, <laughs> and she saves Osaka. I, I don't know. I, I could see any, anything happening here. Okay, and then let's we'll see. I think I read this one already. And I really do appreciate everyone's comments. And once again, if you're making comments, if you, when you see this viewer comment video, if you want to. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. But if you want to put a link to your Google Plus account so I can add you in. Also, uh, also you might want to say if you, if you're, well, I mean, if you're, you know, any other comments you want to put in there, like if you're, you can, you be available, maybe Saturday, you're not sure, whatever. But anyway, if you get that, at least I can get you into a circle and then I can, you know, uh, get this thing started. Anyway, John Hawks. I wouldn't call this a filler episode. A lot of plot developments happened. The divas invaded the schools. Roku found out all Senketsu introduced <laughs> and introduced Crabman. Also, it's just me or is Mr. Moneybags, the kid getting bullied, and Gamagori's flashback. Ooh, wow. I like where you went with that. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. All right. Of course, Gamagori's now got a what a motorcycle track on his head, but maybe he'll go over and talk to him. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to be. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I, I like where this could go. I mean, it could, maybe it could shake. Uh, hmm. Maybe shake his loyalty a little bit. Nah, that won't happen. Anyway, the next episode looks great. We get to see the new batch of three-star ultimate uniforms. Watch blindfold fight all right awesome comments everybody and the last this week will be come to Bob nine what's with everyone that was a really good episode of kill a kill granted it had its problems like Roko easily beating up Senketsu powered guys that is a negative 
But the combined action and humor that ran through the episode was just insane. Everything was happening so fast, and it made me think the first few episodes excuse me, where the, where the humor was very strong. The last two episodes, as great as number 13 was, didn't seem quite as over the top in a humor development. And this would seem to be taking the show back to its roots there. It was very fun, enjoyable, and you'll definitely miss about a hundred things on your first watch. <laughs> I have to, I, I literally, well anyway, I have to take a bunch of notes, so I I, ha I stop it like 20 times. I, I don't watch it, you know, I, you know, the first time, if, you know, if I watch it more than that, then I, I would, I can watch it through, but even then, it's just, I, I can't see anybody watch, just watching this. There's too much going on. But anyway, that's just me. All right, continuing on. People have been speculating for a while that there are other schools in the country that are powerful and have wanted to see what they can do, and we are finally seeing that. Though I enjoyed the fights, most of these guys were fodder. See, that's where I'm, I'm having the problem. The fight was... For me, uh, the humor didn't outweigh the the, the fight. It, it felt repetitive, even. You know. The only school that really impressed me was the one with the guy and his money guns. Yep. Wow, this guy plays dirty. He literally tosses money around and everyone does what he wants. Like the Lex Luthor effect on steroids. He doesn't, I mean, let me stop here in the middle of this one. We're getting back to the whole sociological, um, you know, human beings, how do they work? You know, they're just pigs, you know, in suits, kind of, you know. And he's really playing to that, and unfortunately he's being very effective to it, you know. It's, there's a, there's a lot <laughs> There's a lot going on here, so it's not just throwing, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's, it, well, well, anyway, you, as you well know, it's, um, it's pretty deep stuff. Okay, continuing on. He doesn't have just the students fighting, but the citizens who've been trained throughout their lives to be like bloodthirsty sharks. He's even got little old grannies shooting missiles. I'd like to see any cop try and take a taser to these ladies, but this guy and his conglomerate are apparently such a threat that Lady Satsuki Karen has come down to deal with it herself. I love the part about the whole thing of how your communication network is taken down, but you're still getting because he goes to the old women that gossip, and they're connected with the other old women. I get the in the other cities and everywhere that gossip, and you can't shut them down. So they, they, you know, well, whatever they hear is going to be in another city in no time. So I, I, lo I love that to such an awesome degree. All right, continuing on. Looking forward with Aruko versus Setsuki. I think that Setsuki will probably hold back somewhat, but wants to test Roku and her limits in her upcoming fight. I still think that she's putting Roku through training so that she can help her take on her mother and psycho Barbie girl. <laughs> I, like, I love the, name you, the other name you gave for Shirley Temple. Oh my God, an evil Shirley Temple. Whew. Oh yeah, yeah. She's got everybody, doesn't she? Knew we, and she got she burned us twice when we thought that that she was that dude. I mean, that character has nailed us twice. Also, Mako was hilarious this episode, catching money bullets out of thin air and going on like a crazy Mako shopping spree. I love how the show parades itself like that. This was probably my favorite Mako moment in the series so far. Overall, really fun episode. People were worried that Roko would be in an emo, depressed slump for a couple of weeks after her defeat. I said, dude, not on this anime. It's fast-paced as hell. She'll probably whine or cry for a couple of minutes and then be back into the action, driving her motorcycle on people's faces, <laughs> kicking butt, which is pretty much what happened. This series is great. Awesome stuff, Connolly Bob Nine. I really do appreciate it. And to everyone that makes comments, once again, before I go and close this out, if you want to be in Saturday, January, January the 25th, Google Hangout, which will be live streamed and uploaded here on my uh, channel, then please give me a link to your Google Plus account, right? And I will uh, try to, I, I would really put it on the video you know, you know, in, in your comments or whatever, and then anything that you want to say, whether you'll be available, what 
times or better than whatever you want to put in there and then I'll try to get you added and I'll try to get this thing going on because this is goodness I mean you, you got like I said it'd probably be about an hour long but it's going to be I mean if, if you only want to hang out for a few minutes you say oh, I gotta go and then fine just say you gotta go and you can go or you know if you just want to hang out or if, if you just want to listen if you just want to see how this whole Google hangout thing works and you just kind of want to hang back then that's cool my only thing I will do as moderator is I'll try to move things around and uh, as long as someone's got something interesting to say I don't care if you go into a five or ten minute thing and if people want to jump in and like I say we'll, we'll work it out some people are better at kind of finding spots to throw little comments in between other people talking which doesn't become disruptive and, and we'll, we'll just see we'll, we'll, we'll just see and then it, it will get posted but like I say I'm not going to edit it <laughs> it's as soon as it's done it's done and it goes up on to my channel and that's it so anybody that thinks I'm going to well if you could take this out of that no <laughs> it's just it's there whatever said is said like I said if you want to make some comments if you want to hang back uh, whatever you want to do like I said if I come around to you and you say we'll get to be later do whatever it's going to be really easy like I said I'll be the moderator and uh, I'm really looking forward to it now as big a hassle as this part is of getting people in the circles and yeah all right another awesome week kill a kill is amazing the comments are amazing and I look forward to this week and multiple times on this of course with my next review video that would be a good place to get your to go ahead and make your comment and give me a link to your Google Plus page so that I can go there and yeah until next time right anybody can be an anime fan you can always subscribe you can always unsubscribe you can do anything you want to until next time take care